to UMass Boston Beacons playoff primer for all your fall sports, recapping the ones that have already played in their LEC tournaments and getting ready for the ones participating this week. Women's tennis, your first one up. A 9-1 regular season, 8-0 in the Little East Conference. They won their first ever Little East Conference title in program history the other week against Rhode Island College. They await the NCAA tournament in May. And then Little East Conference cross-country championships this past Saturday, hosted by UMB at Franklin Park. The women Finished seventh out of the seven teams that placed. Jacqueline Erner first for the Beacons. Jimmy Cannon, all LEC first team as the Beacon men finished sixth out of eight. They go to regionals in a couple of weeks. And now this week we get you ready for men's soccer, women's soccer, and women's volleyball. Men's soccer having an impressive year, a 9-5-3 regular season, 6-2 and two in Little East Conference play, earning the second seed in the tournament. They get a first-round bye, so they will play on Thursday afternoon against either Eastern Connecticut State University or Keene State College. The winner of that one will be decided on Tuesday afternoon. The Beacons have looked good as of late, slipped in their final game of the regular season against Castleton. We'll see what they can bring to the table on Thursday at home. Kasim El Ashkar has been pretty steady in goal, making some great saves all year to keep the Beacons alive in some close matches. Women's soccer having a rough start to their season, but they have really turned it on in the past month. The Beacons, an 8-8-2 eight, eight and two record in the regular season, 5-3 and three in the Little East Conference. They end up clinching the third seed. Now, at the start of the year, they were struggling mightily, and they actually started the year one seven and two. The Beacons a seven in one October to get themselves up to that three seed. A very impressive turnaround. Their one loss this year in October coming against Tufts University, a very tough NESCAC team. So nothing to hang their heads about. The Beacons are rolling into this tournament hot. A team to watch as they will take on Keene State College at home, the six seed. Tomorrow afternoon at 1 p.m., the Beacons looking to get to the semifinals and face off against WestCon, possibly, this upcoming Thursday. Maria Spilios has been great in net for the Beacons, and the defense has really come alive in the last eight games. Women's volleyball sneaking in as the sixth seed, the defending champions, getting in after winning their final two Little East Conference games, a 7-17 and regular season, 3-5 and in the LEC their playoff hopes were hanging by a thread, but they defeated Westcon at home and then defeated Castleton on the road, mixed with two Southern Maine losses. The Beacons are in the tournament as the sixth seed. They take on number three UMass Dartmouth on Tuesday night at 7 o'clock p.m. The Beacons looking to try and get back to the championship game and win yet another conference title.